<laughs> Why did the atmosphere suddenly become so awkward? You overdid it and came off a bit aggressive. Huh? Lin Yu is really nervous since there are so many people. He is also not good at talking to others. Please take care of him. I am sorry. When our class went to karaoke, Lin Yu was there. He's actually really cute. Oh, I remember was he the drunk classmate who kept crying. Haha, ha, I was there too. Lin Yu, how much did you drink to end up like that? I can tell you guys that he only had a few sips. He was drunk before he could even finish the can. My alcohol tolerance is low. The atmosphere became lively again. And rule number three? Rule number three. Rule number three, you have me. I will be your side to help you. So don't stress too much. Ikue is really amazing. Good job, Lin Yu. You've already made a whole list of friends? Not really. The fruit sent from hometown is in the fridge. Remember to eat some. And also, talk more with your parents about how you are doing at school. Your mom keeps calling me every day to ask about you. Okay. Eh? Is this the protective talisman you and your mom got after asking for blessing on the mountain? Yeah. I heard that your illness has not gotten better despite years of treatment, but after coming back from the mountains, it is gradually improving. Does it actually work? Yeah. This talisman is part of a set with the exorcism talisman on the wall. Exorcism talisman? I remember seeing it at your house before. Is it the same one? Hmm, it can be taken off. It says it has to be put up wherever I live, so I brought it here. So it really is God's work. I want to ask for blessings too. Sistering, do you have some kind of illness? Not really. I just want a lot of things. That's it. I will be going back now. Call me if you need anything. Or you can come find me next door. Don't try to carry everything yourself. When the group goes out to interview people, I have to find an excuse to have Lin Yu stay in the same room as me for the night. However, Hello, Uncle. Ah, little Kui, you actually called. What's up? <coughs> little Kui? Uh, forget it. Don't say that. Let's talk about it. Maybe Uncle can help you. If hypnosis isn't effective on a human, what could be the cause? Ah, this is rare. Is little Kui having trouble in hunting? I am hanging up. Hey, don't hang up. I was just kidding. If your hypnotic power isn't effective on a human, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is that the human is inherently resistant to hypnosis. Second, the person is not human. He is definitely human. Third, that human is carrying a protective talisman or something similar. The effect of these items can resist some types of magic. A protective talisman. There are, exorcism talismans are posted inside of buildings. They're able to weaken and neutralize the effects of demons within a certain range. Protective talismans have a designated person to protect, so they can be carried around. Are there any differences between a protective talisman and an exorcism talisman? So it's the talisman in Lin Yu's home. If I am near his house, it makes my powers disappear. It can't protect that human from any effects towards their body but it can't completely resist the magic. Does the protective talisman have to be carried with them to be effective? That's right. It will be useless if it is too far from them. I got it. Speaking of, little Kui, hasn't it been a long time since you've come back? A protective talisman. I've never paid attention to whether Lin Yu is one or not. There's a good chance he's not inherently resistant. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to have a talisman at home. I should make sure that he really does have a protective talisman. As long as the protective talisman leaves his side, the rest will be easy.